Welcome back to Painted Kids, this is Jessica, and today we're going to be learning to draw Hawkadile from the Cartoon Network series, Unikitty. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, with you guys supporting us and following us, it allows us to continue to do what we do, and that's make awesome art videos for you. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make his torso. We usually start with the head, but this time we're starting with the torso. So we're going to do a straight line across. A line down and then another line straight across so it kind of looks like an unfinished long rectangle we're gonna be a line straight down but we're not going to bring it all the way over and then we're gonna do a second line right next to that but only bring it up halfway we're giving it room for his arms so now we're gonna do his chest so we're gonna do two lines on either side just like this and then you're gonna do two lines horizontally across because he is half hog half crocodile now we're going to go up to his neck, we're going to do just two lines there for his neck. And then um, his head is going to be a little different than we usually do. It's not just a rectangle, it's a little bit more of a triangular shape. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it straight across, just like this. And his head's a little bit shorter than his torso. Now we're going to bring it straight up, we're going to go back down to the bottom, straight up again, and then bring it over. And instead of finishing the rest of his head, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put on his sunglasses. So we're gonna go about a third of the way down. Um, if we're going off the, the side part of his head, a third of the way down, and we're gonna do a straight line across, and this, this will be the top of his sunglasses. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna scoop once, scoop twice, and there are his sunglasses. Now his sunglasses aren't touching the one side, they, they are over a little bit. And then we just do two diagonal lines on each lens, just like this. And that'll make the uh, highlight of his sunglasses. So now that we have his sunglasses in, we can finish the rest of our face. So what you're gonna do is start at the um, bottom part of his glasses and bring it straight down. And then we're gonna start at the top and bring a diagonal line down and we'll stop that right at the sunglasses. Then we're gonna do a little curve right um, on that bridge and then another little curve underneath the left lens and it's going to curve down because that's where his beak is. So now that we have his um, the outline of where his beak is, we're just going to give him a little frown. Let's give him his very serious bodyguard look. So now we're going to come down and we're going to start the rest of his body. So right underneath his torso, that's where we're going to start because we're going to start with the rest of his body that are, that's going to go right down into his legs. So we're going to do one slightly diagonal line on one side and one line on the other. Then we're going to come across almost like we're making an A. So you don't want this section to be too long. You want it to be a little bit on the shorter side. And then we're going to do a small short line right in the middle and then we're going to bring it down. So those are his legs so it kind of has this A look. Then we're going to bring it across on either side and that's the bottom of his feet just like this. And then to complete the rest of his feet we're going to do a diagonal line from the both those points so we're going to diagonal and, and have them meet just like this and those are his legs and then the rest of his um, his torso and then I'm going to do two diagonal lines on his feet and that's going to show where his claws are and then now that we have his his legs all in we're going to do um, two lines that show where his shorts end and then we're going to do two more lines underneath. So three lines on each leg total. So we have the first on the top shows where his shorts end, and then the other two are like the texture of his bird legs. And then we're going to do his little crocodile tail. So you do a little triangle off the side there, and then a diagonal line in between his legs to show where his tail um, is uh, connected. So for his arms, we're going to do a little bit of a curved line. It's not just a straight line down. It's a little curve, and then it's a straight line towards the top, and then the back part of his arm is going to be another curved line. And then we're going to do a longer line at the bottom. It's not going to be um, start and stop. It's going to overlap a little bit. And then we're going to do straight line down on either side and then straight line across. Now he's got these big boxing gloves on, so we're going to curve just a little. And then we're going to go to the other side and then curve around and have it meet. And then we're going to do our little feather texture. So we have one, two, three on the top and then two on the bottom and then a circle um, on that uh, buckle of that glove. 
And then we're gonna do his little like wings that he has. So we do one, two, three, and then connect. And that connects at the top of the arm. It doesn't actually connect to the back because he's you know still a Lego guy. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's just gonna be a little different. So we're gonna do a straight line out, curve line down, go towards the torso and still do another curve line. The line at the bottom is gonna be a little bit longer. And then we're gonna do two lines down and then line across. And then we're gonna curve around for his thumb and then a big curve off the thumb and then over. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna do his little round buckle on the glove. And then three um, bumps at the top to show the, um, the bumps of the feathers. And that's gonna be towards the top, so we're just do one, two, three, and then one, two at the bottom. And we're gonna do his wing. It's gonna start at the top of his arm and go up. One, two, three, and stop. And if you know, it's okay to pause and take this part a little slower because this part is a little bit more meticulous because it, it, it's all those little details. Now for his coloring, we're gonna be doing a mixture of like kind of eagle colors and crocodile colors. So his um, chest is gonna be this nice dark green and the rest of his torso, just above um, his shorts is also going to be green. His tail is gonna be this darker green. And then um, this half of the, his arms are also gonna be this color green just under the feather part. And then his uh, neck will also be this uh, dark green color. So go ahead and fill that in. And whatever you're using, you know, just use whatever colors um, that you can find. They don't have to be exactly like mine. And then he has a light green color for his chest because he is, you know, half crocodile and then half eagle. And then um, we're gonna go and do his, um, his uh, shorts are gonna be black, um, and uh, his sunglasses will be black, and then the, the cuffs of his gloves will also be black. Now just to finish up our, um, our hockadile here, we're going to do a darker brown feather on the top um, of his arm, and then that same dark brown that we're using is going to be on his uh, face as well. And it's not like a really dark brown, but it's the darkest brown that we're going to be using. Um, and then with your sunglasses, you'll fill in the black except for the highlight. You'll keep those um, diagonal shapes white because again, that's like the highlight or the glare on the sunglasses. Make them look super cool. And then we have our lighter brown that we're going to choose and that's going to be used for the, um, the bottom set of feathers. And then we're also going to be using that for his wings. So while I'm coloring this in here, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more fun videos just like this one, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to show off any of your Unikitty character creations, head on over to any of our social media platforms to show off your amazing work. Those links will be in the description below. So we're just going to be finishing off our hockadile here and we're just going to be using a yellow color for his beak and then we're also using that same yellow color for his legs. And then once we are finished with this yellow color, we're going to jump over to his uh, boxing gloves and those are going to be a nice red color. Once we're done with this red color, then we're going to jump over to his little clips that are on his boxing gloves and those are actually going to be a nice gray color. So thanks so much for watching you guys and we'll see you next time.